This video was created in connection with the mailing of the preliminary director's report for the Palouse River Basin adjudication. As a result, the demonstration discusses how to search for adjudication claim and recommendation records in order to find information that can be useful in reviewing a preliminary recommendation. With that said, much of the information shown here is applicable to non-adjudication records. In this video, I'll go over how to search for your water right and from IDWR's database and how to find related information using IDWR's map-based search tools. So the first thing we want to do is go to IDWR's homepage. The easiest way to do that is just open up a search engine type IDWR. And then the first link that generally comes up when I do it is the is IDWR's homepage. So once we get to the home page, we're going to go to the map and GIS data hub. From here we'll choose to find maps and we'll click on explore maps. And then we want to find a water right. So we're going to click on see maps. And we're going to use the water right locator tool. So I'm going to click on that. And this opens up our map. So we get a splash screen with a disclaimer. I'm going to OK through that. There's a lot we can do. There's a lot of tools. But what I'm going to show you is how to find the place of use and point of diversion that are recommended in your preliminary recommendation. I was sent to you in April of 2021. So what we want to do is type in your water right number up here. So I'm going to use water right 87-2016. And it gives me a bunch of options. So it's going through and it's finding the available choices. And what I'm going to do is let's zoom to the recommended recommendation diversion. So we're going to look at the recommended point of diversion. I'm going to click on that and it zooms me in to the location of the recommended point of diversion. Now this is a good point to make that there's a lot going on here and it's really busy and so there's a lot we can do to clean this up and make it clearer. And we're going to do that by turning some layers on and off in this layers list. It's on the left side of your screen. So first thing I'm going to do is go in here in this water rights heading and click the little arrow and open that up and scroll down a little bit. And we can see that we've got the POD, which is point of diversion for water rights checked and the POU for water rights checked. Well, we're looking for the recommendation. So we're going to Turn those off, uncheck, uncheck. I'm going to turn on the point of diversion for the adjudication recommendation and the place of use for the adjudication recommendation. And so now it's kind of hard to see the numbers, but we can see the location the point of diversion that was recommended for for the water right we put in there 87 2016 mm -hmm. and then the place of use boundary we can click on it and we can get the information about that so we've got adjudication recommendations 87 2016 and this is how you can scroll down and you can get additional information <laughs> now when you are looking at your notice of error, your preliminary recommendation, and trying to figure out how to complete your notice of error reply, you may want to look at not only what was recommended, but how things were claimed. You can do it a couple of ways. One way to do it is we can go into Docs and we can look at the scanned copy of the original claim. So I'm going to hit More Information. This is going to open up list of scanned documents and then I'm going to click on notice of claim 
And so now we can see the original claim that was submitted. And we can compare that and see if it makes sense with, with the recommendation. In the information package you sent, you should have a copy of your recommendation. You want to check the, the place of use description and the point of diversion description, and that's in Township Range and Section, or what we call Public Land Survey System. We're going to turn on the Township Range and Section by clicking that. And so now we can see that this place of use falls in 41 North. 5 West section 2 right there and then Northeast Northwest and that 3 means government lot 3 so you can get a lot of information from these maps now the other thing you can do is you can generate a map from here if you want I've got the recommendation layer turned on I'm going to just select it go down to map here click more info and it's going to go through and build build me a map all right looks like it's done so i'm going to click on this hyperlink for domestic use and there is my map for 87 2016. So even though your preliminary recommendation may not have had a map mailed out, you can go in here and create one on your own. Um, you can go in and, and look at it through the active map section. So there's a lot of information in here, a lot of different layers. If we want to look at the claim, we'll go ahead and turn off adjudication recommendations. I'm going to turn on the claim layer the POD for adjudication claims and the POU for adjudication claims. And now when we click on this, we get the information on the claim. And you can look at the report. And here you could take this information from, from the claim, since it's claim up here, and compare that with your preliminary recommendation and see if things look okay. This is a good way to get an idea of, of what was recommended versus what was originally claimed. All right, so that kind of concludes the video on how to use the map search. If you have further questions, um, you can always go IDWR home, the contact us link at the top of IDWR's webpage and find the contact information um, to the office most convenient to you and give us a call or send us an email and we'll try to answer your questions. Thank you very much.